So apparently my camera didn't capture the footage where I did the batch backup, but it's not that big of a deal. The backup's done. We can go to schedules and then run. You get the idea. It uploads to the Dropbox. We're not going to waste all this time. Those scratches were bugging the crap out of me, so we'll keep Dexter by our side for a little bit. I'm also going to go to Nova settings, backup and import, and then backup, and then OK. Now we can reboot into recovery. Since we're running a custom ROM, we can just reboot and then recovery. But I'm going to do it manually. Power off. OK. Alright, since we have port recovery, we can actually do this while we're charging the device. Just hold the home button, volume up, and power at the same time. Until you see the little, like, flashy screen thingy. Right there and let go. And it should take us into recovery. Should. We should be able to do this while the device is charging. Volume up, home, and power. I've done it while it's charging before, and I proved that in a different video. But we'll try that again. Volume up, home, power. Let go. The hell am I doing wrong? It's being a pain in the butt. But in a video that I just freaking posted, I got it to reboot into recovery while it was plugged in, so don't know why it's being a pain in the butt. There we go. We need to go ahead and back up the current ROM. I'm not going to back up recovery because as I've said before, if you choose that and you restore the ROM and you have like Torp 2230 or something, it'll keep restoring the old recovery. So that's why I'm not doing that. And in compression, I want that because I want this file size to be smaller and I want to choose external SD card because it has more space. And I can take the SD card, put it in my computer and transfer the Torp backup folder and my titanium backup folder to Dropbox, external hard drive, internal hard drive, whatever. You can back it up and keep it somewhere safe. Swipe to back up. And remember, you can have your phone charging while you're doing this. So you should see that move up. And if you want to know how long this takes, just pay attention to the clock. That's done. So what we need to do at this point is wipe the device. Factory reset. Swipe to wipe. I uh, you'll notice the battery is now at 80%. This process does not take long at all. Press back, and then go back, and then choose install. I have the ROM on the internal storage because the internal storage is faster than the external. So I'll choose internal, and then I'll go down here until I find it. This is the one we need right here, LIF update full. And then we can press add more zips, and we need to choose the firmware modem all in one zip. This is the latest version of this ROM. The previous version did have trouble with root, so you'd press add more zips and you would choose that root thing that I have in there. But since this is the update, we should have root just fine. Swipe to flash. Now it's flashing the radios, which shouldn't take as long. All well, the modem, firmware, and etc. All right, we can press reboot to system. Well, what I'm actually going to do, and I'm not telling you to do this by any means, but I'm low on space, so I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> wipe the internal storage. I've got all my apps and everything backed up to Dropbox from when my phone automatically did it this morning according to a schedule, and my twerp backup folder is on my external SD card, so I'm completely fine with having my internal memory wiped. It'll only wipe it when you do it yourself. Oh, it's got the neat little updated jelly bean boot image thingy-majig. And the little LED light at the top is flashing blue, like a pulsing blue and white. And Samsung. X Hoss X is responsible for this. Somebody leaked the files to him or shared them with him, and he's responsible for putting this together. He is also releasing the update that makes you go from LH13, LF13, or whatever the ICS is, to the Jelly Bean. So you don't have to completely wipe and you don't have to start from scratch. It's a much smaller file because it's just updating from Ice Cream Sandwich 
to jelly bean instead of being a complete full ROM like this zip is. Now I'm going to have a link to where you can download all the files, the link to the XDA thread, and when I do my review of this ROM, I'll have a link to that in the description. So please make sure you subscribe if you want to see that video. And I'll also, for my subscribers, mirror the file on Mediafire. Yeah, that's right, a 700 and something megabyte file, and I'll be putting it on Mediafire so that way you guys can download it really quickly instead of having to wait forever. If you're having trouble downloading it, it might be because someone else shared it somewhere else and I put a password on it and that password's going to be my username. The Sprint Connection Optimizer, you don't really want that. You can disable it. What it'll do is it'll decide for you on whether it goes to Wi-Fi or 4G. I'll show you how to disable that. So it comes with Swipe, huh? Or T9 Trace or whatever. I've been running the CM10 for a little while, so that keyboard looks different. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember too well. I do not want it restoring all my apps. I want to start fresh and keep my phone backed up. Yes, sir. I'll go ahead and accept that. All right, phone is set up and ready to go. I already have a Dropbox account. Like I said, it's been a while since I've used the stock TouchWiz, but I do think that that keyword is different. And yes, a lot of you nailed me in my review of this phone running the Ice Cream Sandwich TouchWiz ROM that you can in fact sort your app list. Press menu, view type, alphabetical grid. And now everything will be in alphabetical order. Because before, it wasn't in alphabetical order, only the stock apps were. Every time you install an app, it would bring it up past the YouTube right there. So everything else will be in alphabetical order except the stuff you manually install. So you do get root. We'll go ahead and open up the Play Store. Wow, they're still doing that. I figured they'd be done by now. It's not going to update because the 25 cent apps are pretty much over, but you can still grab like the Dark Knight and a couple others for 25 cents for a short time. It might be done by the time this video is online because it's going to take me a while to edit this. For those of you that weren't able to participate, here's a quick list of all the apps they have for 25 cents over the last five days. That keyboard does look different. Open up Titania Backup, press install, and then accept and download. I like to automatically update stuff. Open. Okay, so it doesn't give you the root, so you do still need to flash that root zip. Mm. Now the question is, do we have stock recovery or custom recovery? Let's find out. Do we have... Custom recovery. Did it overwrite? Oh, we still have custom recovery. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. We'll do that again. We need to install. Oh, we wiped. So that's not there anymore. Oh, I can go put the zip in Dropbox real quick since we have Dropbox on here. Keep in mind, I am going to do a much thorough review of this ROM, because look, you have five instead of just four. Ah, stop showing me stuff. You can swipe up stuff to get directly to that thing. Let's open up Dropbox real quick. And then I got to find that file I had on here. Here it is right here. Just long press on it. Choose Export. Save to SD card. And we'll choose Internal Storage and then Export. It's done. We'll power it off again. 
Do you remember when I did the add more zips and I had the two zips flash? Just remember to do the ROM, the radio all in one zip thing, and then the root. So three zips instead of just two. So I don't know why I was being pain in the butt earlier. Volume up, power, and home get you into recovery. Install, and there it is right there. See, this would have been the third file that we flashed and it would have said, you know, three of 10 or whatever. So we just swipe, reboot the system. That'll happen anytime you install an update or you change anything that's in the system directory. So we'll open up to and back up. See, it's in alphabetic order. Is it going to ask for root permission? Come on, come on, come on. Give root. Give root. Give me root. Give me root. Come on. Awesome. So you have root permission. You can start restoring apps. To do a battery storage, you press the batch option. Okay, we got to go to the menu. Preferences. Backup folder location. And then press detect and hold device. And then press on that. Choose use current folder. Now if we go to batch, well, okay. Refresh app list. And I'm also gonna reload the application. It's spinning, letting us know it's searching for stuff. It's done, batch. There we go, all of our apps are right there. Restore missing apps. Deselect all and make sure you only restore the ones you really, really, really want. If you're coming from ice cream sandwich to jelly bean or etc., you might run into issues restoring data, so just be very, very careful. You may end up needing to restore your ROM or start from scratch. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize that. I have a lot of apps, so what I'm going to do is press back, back, backup, restore, edit filters, plume. Then go to the batch, restore missing apps with data, press the checkbox. Awesome, now we have Plume and Plume Premium, so we don't have to go through, and we don't have to change all of our settings. I can tweet and pick up right where I left off at. Freaking awesome. That's another thing. Please follow me on Twitter. I tweet about video ideas, when I'm uploading, when I'm editing, what I'm thinking about doing, ROM updates, etc. If you want to stay up to date on everything, please follow me on Twitter. All links will be in the very bottom of the description to all my social media sites like Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and etc. I am definitely most active on Twitter. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. It'll notify you when I post new videos. I upload new content on a regular basis. Again, this is what Josh do, and I'm out.